What's your message to the fans, you know, who've gone through the season with you guys? I really think, you know, our, like I said, our fans have been phenomenal. And, and I know that the record doesn't always show, you know, what, what has what has grown and what has progressed. But this group of young young men, they've stayed together. There's been a spirit on the court every every single night. And then that's just going to turn up another level as we walk into next year. Our guys are excited about it. I think the fans should be extremely excited about it because they see the way in which these young men play together, play for one another, and continue to battle no matter what's happening within the game or the season. The G League Combine starts on Monday. Monday we'll have access to 40 players that have been invited to the Combine in addition to the 60 that are invited to the NBA Combine. So we start on Monday. Monday, Tuesday we do interviews with the, that group of 40 and we watch them on the floor. Um, and then the regular Combine starts on Wednesday. So today we're here just evaluating some of the guys from college for the, for the junior elite camp. Just looking at their anthro testing, the measurements, the agility, and then seeing how they kind of interact with five on five. Uh, later on at night, we'll do a little bit of interviews, get to know these people, and just a whole bunch of different things that we use to aid us in the evaluation process. So with the G League being so fluid every single year with guys getting called to the NBA and going overseas, every single year is like a blank canvas. So the biggest thing for us is just trying to find guys that can help supplement the Orlando roster, as well as have some skills that we can kind of develop. Lottery is huge. <laughs> it's almost like uh, this year's Super Bowl for them just because of the opportunity to add another high level prospect, another high level talent who's young and who can fit the timeline of the other young guys that they have already on the team. You know, that's kind of what this league is about, especially for a team in the Maddox position. You're trying to rebuild your talent base, rebuild your team, and the lottery provides opportunity. It gives you, or at least gives you clarity in terms of where you're going to be and what the opportunity will be for you when the draft comes in June just to add that another high-level talent to the team, to this core, and you can figure things out from there. They call it a lottery for a reason. You don't know what you're gonna get going into the night. So you have to be prepared for all outcomes, you know. I know that's for the Magic fan base, that's also a, a, something that's nerve-wracking just because, you know, early in the franchise's infancy, you got lucky. <laughs> that the Orlando Magic will pick first in the 1992 NBA draft. Come on up, Pat. <laughs> Believe it or not, the first pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Orlando Magic. Uh, within the past decade, the lottery luck hasn't been there as much. You know, and for the Magic, they have the options of going as high as one, but also fall all in as low as six. So they have to be prepared for any outcomes just because you never know. And that's kind of the, the magic of the lottery. You never know. That's what makes it so fun. That's what we call it a lottery. And that's why people get so excited for the night. Well, today, hopefully, a good day to be an Orlando sports fan. I really want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I know everybody is very excited for the NBA draft lottery this evening and the hopes that we get that number one pick. We'll be downtown the six-man show, Harry Buffalo, lottery party. We were ecstatic when we got the email from the Magic about partnering with them and Michelob Ultra for the watch party. Being a fan of this team my entire life started the podcast just a few years ago. We just wanted to talk about the team and help expand the fan base. And for the Magic to reach out and want to partner with us for the watch party, it's a dream come true. We're super grateful, super excited, and hopefully the lottery goes our way this year. I came last year to the little fan event they had. It was a great time. The energy was just awesome inside there. Uh, it's just so good to be with the other fans and everything. We got such a nice community here, and uh, it's just awesome to be a part of. We were under the impression that Jeff Weltman, the president of basketball operations, was going to be representing the Magic on stage tonight at the NBA Draft Lottery. We have an audible. Magic head coach Jamal Mosley woke up Perfect. this morning feeling lucky, and so he is going to be on stage tonight Perfect. at the NBA Draft Lottery representing the Magic. So it will be a chance for us to just continue to get better. No matter where we land, I think it's an opportunity for us to get better. Adding more young talent, young character, young high IQ uh, competitive-minded guys. I think that's the more we build that, the better we continue to be. 
we have the most amazing fans that have been so supportive and patient and you know just willing and wanting us to just continue to, to build our success the right way and that's what we're doing. The time has come. Here is the NBA Deputy Commissioner and Chief Operating Officer Mark Tatum, who will reveal the lottery picks of the 2022 NBA Draft. Thank you, Malika, and good luck, everyone. The 14th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, presented by State Farm, will go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Only one envelope remaining before we know all of the teams in the top four. The fifth pick will be made by the Detroit Pistons. That means that we have our four. Sacramento, Oklahoma City, the Magic, and the Rockets. Fourth pick in the 2022 NBA Draft presented by State Farm goes to the Sacramento Kings. The third pick goes to the Houston Rockets. The second pick will be made by the Oklahoma City Thunder. And that means that the first pick in the 2022 NBA Draft goes to the Orlando Magic. We're originally planning to be up here. Uh, the good luck is, is on your side, I guess. What does this mean for the franchise? I mean, the fans, the, the organization, it's so exciting. It's so, so much to look forward to with this organization, with this group and this fan base. It's going to be special. Special indeed. Congratulations to the Orlando Magic. All right. Hey, Bo. Okay, Bo. Okay, okay, Bo. Look at you, hey, you just can't stop with it. Now I got the number one guy for it. Let's keep rocking. That's right. My man. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Here we go. Late swap. Late scratch. <laughs> I don't know if it worked. I don't know if have anything to do with it. We'll take it. We'll take it right now. I'm so happy for our fans tonight. You know, they've really stuck with us and you know nights like this help you know where you can really show why you go through these, these phases and these cycles you know and, and so hopefully um, they're really excited by this I think that they will be um, we're gonna add another really good young player to our to our talent base and I think it's an exciting night we did that come on now come on we're that team baby yes sir I was chilling ah it was that was awesome nervousness elation just thinking please don't be like last year we needed this, we deserved it. It's a positive moment, and uh, I feel like the, the culture of Orlando is going to change after tonight. Incredibly exciting. Obviously, you know, as we're going through our rebuilding program over the course of the last couple of years, um, this is an opportunity that can help you accelerate something like that. You know, it's nice to get a little bit of luck and, and win the number one pick and give ourselves an opportunity to continue to build and, and move forward. Ooh. Here we go, Magic. Here we go. Why not us? Why not us?